Hey guys, I'm so sorry that I haven't uploaded in like, well it will be two weeks by the time I upload this because I was camping and you know what, I just want to make a clear social media break and I'm almost at 300 subscribers so like that's a good thing. Anyways, yeah so I was camping, I'll have like a vlog out whenever I finish like editing it but like yeah. Um, I always hate intros because I feel like it just get to the chase like what is this video about? Well, if you can watch it, you'll find out. Anyways, congratulate congrat con what? Congratulations for all of you who received your A-level results. I'm proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. Um my days A levels were so stressful and so hard. Anyways, the whole point of this video is about civil engineering. Like I'm gonna give you a brutal review on civil engineering at the University of South. Hampton. Did you get that South Hampton? Anyways, yeah. Yeah, so obviously I'm going on to my second year on civil engineering and I really want to like make sure that I give a good review on how I found engineering at Southampton. Okay, so so this can be great and I don't like whiff waff waffle anyways so I can make it clear and concise. Here is gonna go. <laughs> First, we're gonna do the admin stuff. I call it admin stuff, but I don't really know. I didn't have another term for it. Basically, I'm gonna give you like the module, the course, the modules, how many people in my course, blah, 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 all the course review. And then it's what I enjoyed at first year, um, what I found challenging, and then tips and advice for all the new civil engineers coming to Southampton. Okay, so cue the intro, which I still don't have. So, Lego. Okay, so um, there was 10 modules in first, there's 10 modules in first year, well I did 10 modules and so the first one was design a computer for civil engineers, then you get civil engineering fundamentals, then mechanics, mechanics, structures and materials, thermofluids, a laboratory report, a technical essay which was 3,000 words for us, uh, assessment and design and you have three exams, the multiple choice um, exam which is engineering fundamentals the long answer exam which is engineering problem solving and then the mathematics for engineering and the environment wow okay so we had 10 modules you had to pass all 10 there was no optional modules in first year so all the modules were compulsory and you had to pass all of them to um get into second year so how it worked is if you really want to break down of stuff okay so um we in first year we did geology we did chemistry we did thermofluids there was physics um there was self-taught maths which i'll get into detail it sounds daunting and scary you get some fat textbook no 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 some fat textbook but all manageable or doable if you just construct your time wisely okay so that was the modules we did um, remember you have to pass all the modules there's no compulsory modules in first second first or second year you get your compulsory modules in third year but that's besides the point okay so admin stuff i've done the modules the course title obviously my course title is civil engineering um with architecture with an industrial placement it's such a long title but yeah my course is five years how many people in the course there's currently a 93 there's currently 93 people and i would say the ratio to boys to girls is very very good Compared to other engineering, like acoustical, civil engineering has like a good ratio to boys. Like for every, it's like 64 for every six boys, it's four girls. Yeah, I would say there's a lot of girls in our course. Um, how many people in the course? The A levels I took. The A levels I took. Sorry, these are questions that people I've gathered from people like texting me on Instagram or like DMing me. Um, so the A levels I took. I did maths. I took maths physics and product design and i would say all three a levels were very useful i think they were like the perfect a levels i have to put myself anyways no no you can really do any other a levels but i think like my all three a levels really like um helped me in first year like product design helped me with the design project maths helped me with the self-taught maths and every other um, part of like the exams and all of that and um physics just helped me a load with understanding like the theory behind everything and like thermofluids so yeah, I would suggest taking maths as a definite. Physics, you don't have to take it because they do go over, they do go over A level physics anyway. So it's not a must to take physics. It just gives you a heads up for like, you know, what's in store. Product design, obviously that's not a must, but I thought it really helped me like in the practical side of engineering. 
and like um, obviously with the making of the models for um, what's called the design project and then construction there which I would get onto that anyways next up the laptop I'm currently using I would suggest I don't know how why this is an admin but I would just suggest not getting a Mac because for my experience of first year I realized that I don't have a Mac I have a HP but I'm getting a new laptop so I'll give it like a new a laptop update because it's taking me a while to find a laptop because I don't want to mess up because laptop is crucial anyways I would not recommend getting a Mac for engineering because for civil engineer there's a lot of like um, CAD which is computer aided design work you need like all the software so like um, SolidWorks F Fusion 360, Autodesk, Inventor, all of that and it doesn't work well with Mac products, Apple products and so I mean you can still use it but like it's just not designed for Apple and I would say save yourself the hassle and money uh, and buy yourself any other laptop that isn't an Apple product because trust me it is long and I remember being in a design project I didn't have an Apple so great but my other like um, friends did and so we had to use a few different software because Apple just wasn't working with Inventor so I would not recommend getting an Apple product okay and if you have already it's not that in the world I mean you can work around things but yeah okay so this is now course overview okay I would say that um, the transition from A levels to first year was actually not as difficult or as hard as I anticipated besides one module that was hard the rest were doable um, so I got a first in first year and that was just mainly because I just I was making notes from the beginning but that I'll put more of that in the advice but like the course overview okay so you already know there's two semester Semester one was way more not intense and jam-packed than semester two. I felt like semester two half the time I was like, wait, what's really going on? Am I even doing anything? But that's mainly because of that like, construction area and prep and planning. Anyway, semester one, what we did was that we started um, chemistry, um, coding, we did Python. Um, we had obviously our maths module, which was a year long thing. Thermofluids, a year long thing. Mater um, we started materials, which was a year long thing. And so um, first year was just a lot of admin stuff as well, getting used to like collecting your textbook, all of that. And then also um, we just started learning. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really like, I'll just say you experience it for yourself. There's nothing I could say that'll make the first semester easier because it was just really just going to lectures, taking notes, reviewing topics. Like regardless of what A level is, it's like we start from basics because they're trying to build a foundation to make sure everyone's equal. Because some people already done further maths, and half the maths module we had to do were already covered in further maths. But we just want to make sure everyone's like at the same level foundation. Just to say that most modules you do take in first year of civil engineering is joint with like other um, engineering. So like we had ours with mechanical engineering and ship science. Um, so most things are joined. So I say first year is quite. Um, neutral just like engineering except for semester two which is quite interesting so that was semester what i loved about semester two is like a more civil engineering base like obviously we have like the uh, physics and math stuff which is every engineering student should know how to do that but semester two was tailored towards civil engineer because we had a construction area which is like a week-long trip where we go out to norfolk and um we build a a scaled down version of a, like a massive landmark so i had the malau bridge that was like the gherkin brew wharf all of that so it was very interesting and it was like one of the best things about first year engineering at southampton um also with first, um, semester two you have the design project which is where you're allocated a brief and you have to design a solution to this problem yeah and that was very interesting i'll get into more of that uh what i enjoy about first year anyways the range of facilities well in southampton we have five uh, campuses anyways um with engineering we're being allocated well we're slowly being allocated to the new campus called boulderwood and we have loads i mean i just think Southampton is jam-packed with loads of say the art facilities and we are really catered for properly um we have a lot of labs we have labs like um once every two weeks we have a lot of labs we have a lot of tutorials which are um, useful um yeah that's the course overview okay now getting to the more important bit, what i enjoyed about first year okay what i enjoyed about first year would definitely have to be construction area okay the way they've been gassing it up from the beginning of the year we just kept saying construction and construction and, construction and, construction. and you know time flew by because hit semester two construction area was just like it just came like that like that 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 i would insert pictures of construction area 
wherever because I never know how to do this editing stuff. But construction airing was amazing. And what the thing I like about Southampton is that we did it in first year. Normally you get second and third year students, like obviously Oxford, uh, other unis come to construction airing, but they normally take second to third year students, but they took first year. And obviously it's like a risky move, but I think it's one of the best things ever because it was really putting theory into practice. Like you can always learn about like, um, concreting like the stress form all of that in like statics but when you're actually um pouring tons and tons of concrete to build a pier column and like calculating it's just amazing like uh, um yeah that's the main thing i loved about construction area actually allocating so i was project manager for my team i um we built the, a scaled down version of the Malaya Bridge in France and that was amazing. Okay, so we're actually acting like real civil engineers, which we are, well, we will be in like five years. Anyways, we, were, um, we all had different jobs. Um, obviously, I was the project manager, but there was like quantity surveyor, there was health and safety. We knew the importance of risk assessment, method statement. You would thoroughly enjoy construction area if you just give it your all and dive in and like not complain about anything. Like you could be working in cold weather, but come on, this is experience you're never gonna get anywhere. That's the main thing I enjoy about first year civil engineer. Um, also what I enjoyed is a range of modules, okay? I felt like there's a variety of things to do, like from the design, job, like design project to construction area, to like the maths module. Believe it or not, I, pref I liked, I loved the self-taught maths because I was actually thinking about it or deepening it enough that if you actually try to teach all of us this type of maths, it's going to get a bit like, um, it's not going to be efficient. I just thought that there's no point because you obviously have some people who've done further maths who are ahead and then some people who've done just normal maths like me who are behind and like, it just, it, like we're all at different levels. So instead of like teaching us all in one massive lecture hall, just give us a book and let's teach it ourselves. It sounds dumb, but um, they had, they gave us a plan as in which modules we should be doing every week, questions, it was step, it, like everything's laid out for you. It's not as daunting as it seems, self-taught maths. And I would actually really recommend that. So that's another thing I loved about um, what's called first year. Um, the design project. Um, the design project was very challenging. Considering I done, I've done product design, I know, I know like the long hours being put into like, um, projects and all of that but the design project was very hard for, in, for me because I just felt like it was oh wait this was things I liked in the, okay I'll give you the reason why I liked it I liked it because it was different setting to be stuck in like a big lecture hall taking notes like we'll put it into groups and like it was more independent work we got to work we actually felt like we we're solving problems and we're solving problems and more problems were emerging as we were solving it was just like I liked all the steps were flowing in and it was more like learning the process like, rather than actually solving the problem. It's like the process, you're learning the process of solving a problem, okay? If that makes any sense. Anyways, and then the last thing was a buddy scheme. So in first year, you're allocated if you want to be in, if you actually turn up. You allocate a buddy, which is like a second or third year student, civil engineer, that will help you transition from first, from A levels to first year very smooth and so like i thought that was a great thing um my buddies were amazing they helped me with all my applications they helped me with anything i was in like um i had problems with what i found challenging okay i didn't really find that anything challenging besides thermo fluids there's not really there's nothing really much i can say or give to help you with thermo fluids um besides the fact that you should just turn up to every lecture and take great notes and there's one thing taking notes and there's another thing understanding the notes you've taken um so i think you should actually understand the notes you've taken because what i did um i just took loads of notes and did i understand no so come like may or june i was just trying to cram everything i'm trying to remember what this even meant so i would suggest really start especially for thermal fluids start your revision early on okay okay yeah mm -hmm. Um, ah, don't worry, it didn't hurt as much as you think. Okay, another thing I found challenging, which is not really course related, was really engaging with the Civ Sock Society, which is a civil engineering society, which I think you should get engaged, um, involved with because obviously they'll give you like notifications about different like employers, different like schemes, different opportunities for you to like network with people. I just found it hard to really engage with them. I don't know why, I'm just trying to figure out why I find it hard, but next year I will get more involved in Civ Sock. Okay, tips and advice for civil engineers. Okay, tips and advice for civil engineers. Okay, make notes earlier on. It's easier said than done, but I do stress this enough because 
there's you still pass i mean i i know people who've made notes like uh, during may which is like a, a, a month before our exams like brand new notes but um they're still pass but i would suggest making your life much easier and making notes as you go actual clear concise notes as in not just write everything you see on the board make notes that is actually relevant to the topic okay note taking is of art and obviously it's a skill that not many people possess and not not many people acknowledge that it is a skill but it is a skill okay so note taking is very um, useful and if you do it properly amazing I um, mean, my uni advice, I'll link up here. Watch that because most of those advice do tailor, do connect with civil engineers. But to be specific, civil engineering, um, even though missing tutorial, missing lectures isn't that deep. Um, missing labs and tutorials are more labs and tutorials because lab is so important. So there's loads. There's 93 of us, and there's many different engineering engineer students and obviously like if they've booked that room for you for that specific time do everything possible in your power to turn up to your lab because this is what a chance this is like a small chance where you can actually put the, a theory into practice practice and it's for you is a chance for you to actually understand what they've been teaching in a lecture for five weeks and there's no point you missing it because it just makes the understanding much harder like you can actually see why this behaves like this then you'll be like oh yeah i understand this that that boom boom okay understand labs are so important and i suggest going to every lab and it's also labs are compulsory to go to so i don't know why you're missing it okay so go to labs do not play with your future do not play with your life do not play with your 9.2k okay anyways just want to put it out there that if you think the joint engineering is not going to have any writing you are wrong okay there is a lot of writing involved in engineering which i did not know when i joined this course but obviously you've got used to it and i'm like i'm so me and writing are like like this like we are like friends now used to hate english used to hate writing but as i said like this anyways like listen like first you're gonna write at least ten thousand words of like pieces conjoined together so like you have like laboratory reports can like range from 1000 to 3000 and obviously you have your technical essay which you have to pass you have to pass the technical essay point i want to drill this into your head that there is no such thing as no writing and engineering because listen if you have a lab there's going to be a laboratory report which means you have to write your findings up regardless okay and the technical essay for all the civil engineers and most engineers at the southampton first year do have to pass the technical essay and that's three thousand words and so yeah get on with it like get over it no i'm joking i was really scared about the essay because i was thinking raw me and english don't see eye to eye at all like so i was just like mm, i'm not gonna pass this but i got i got chatting we have a personal tutor we got people best friends and you know what at the end of the day i got 83 percent in me essay and i'm happy so like you know it's doable it's doable yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I put my heart and soul into this. No, I'm joking. I just really wanted loads of people to watch this and really give out like an honest review about civil engineering, like the ins and outs. Like it's not pretty, but it's not ugly. Um, first year was great. Second year is probably going to be one of the hardest years. So I can't wait to document that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy Southampton. I hope you enjoy civil engineering. I hope you enjoy whatever degree, apprentice, job you're doing. And tune in next time. Oh.